You need to remember that not every game out there is beatable through card counting. One of the biggest determining factors of that is the penetration that is offered by the casino. Let me show you what I mean by that. I want you to clearly understand exactly what we mean by penetration. Here I have six decks and when the dealer is done shuffling them and they're cut, then the dealer will place a shuffle card somewhere near the back of the pack. If they were to place it here, for example, they're cutting off just a little bit over a deck, so that'd be roughly 80% penetration. If they were to place the cut card here, or the shuffle card here, that would be 50% penetration. And if they were to place it roughly here with two decks cut off of the six, that's what we call 66% penetration. The key point here is that you are wasting your time and money if you play at games with less than 66% penetration. And the reason for that is, just as the count starts going up in your favor, out comes the shuffle card and the count is shuffled away. Of course, you want to continue to verify that you know your basic strategy by heart. So we have up on the website a basic strategy decision test for you. You can find it under Lesson 6, go up, download it, and I realize that some of you may be learning the basic strategy for a different game, so go ahead, get copies of it, go through it, try and do it in under two minutes, and then use your basic strategy matrix to verify your answers. Game Master, now that I can count, will I always win? I wish that were the case. The reality is, is that the best card counters often have losing sessions and in the long run you'll find generally that you'll win about two-thirds of the time and have losing sessions one-third of the time. Game Master, it's great that I play correctly but others at the table don't so their mistakes will cause me to lose, right? How others at the table play will not affect your game in the long run. We all remember the one hand where the person on the third base hit and took the dealer's bus card, but the reality is they will help you as often as they hurt you. It's just that we as human beings don't remember such situations, but don't worry about that. Mr. Game Master, is card counting against the law? At least here in the United States, there are no laws against card counting. Honestly, if there were, I wouldn't be teaching this. The reality is you are using the information that everyone else at the table has and you're only processing it in a different way, so there's no law against that. Okay, so how will you know when you're ready to attack the tables? One, you know the basic strategy of your local game perfectly. Two, you can count down a single deck of cards by pairs in under 20 seconds. Three, you are comfortable with computing the true count quickly and accurately. Four, you have developed and memorized a betting schedule. Five, you have played a lot of kitchen table blackjack where you deal four hands, keep the count, play each hand properly, compute the true count, and place the proper bet for your hand. Six, you have gone to a casino, stood behind a table, and practiced your counting without risking a penny and have been able to keep track of everything. In this course, I've tried to show you what it takes to play a winning game of blackjack. I want to encourage you to visit our site for additional information and please don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions about anything you've seen here or that you've seen on our website.